The very first day of school, I had a girl who told me I got taken away and I'm adopted now. Pray that my dad gets out of jail. Wouldn't it be great if God was alive still? Pray that my parents won't divorce. For a six-year-old to know what that means and then to be restating, I want to hurt myself, I'm bad. And I said, are you familiar with that story about Jesus? And he shook his head no. Pray that my parents have enough money to make the rent payment. I always get yelled at, people push me, I can't I can't be good. Pray that my parents will let me go to church. You can't downplay the things these kids go through. They're, they're really hard, but that's where we get to meet them with Jesus through LifeWise. One twenty-two school year here at Defiance, and uh, and I can tell you that uh, it has gone well. <laughs> Defiance is our our big school in uh, Northwest Ohio, so I thought if we got anywhere around 500 students coming, that would be wonderful. Well, within the first week of school, um, we had 600 students. The parents had signed the applications, and now we have 791 to be. <laughs> Absolutely exact. That's 76% uh, of the students in the Defiance Elementary uh, grades kindergarten through fifth grade, and we're, we're thrilled. You see the hands come up for kids that have never heard these stories that it's easy for a lot of people who've grown up in the church to think everyone knows, but they're, they're learning them for the first time. They're just so excited because they didn't know these things, and they're learning them, and they're excited to share. I think it's good for obviously the individual child, but then their friends that stay back at school because they're hearing it even if they don't come to LifeWise and then it, then it goes home with them and then it's gonna change communities for sure. Wouldn't it be great if God was alive still? And I said, well, maybe you're thinking about Jesus when Jesus died on the cross. And I said, are you familiar with that story about Jesus? And he shook his head no. And, and it just spoke to me that there are people in our backyard who have never heard the name of Jesus. You know, these generations that are coming after us are, you know, in a much different place than when we were kids. So many stories of students that are going home sharing what's going on in the classroom and now their parents are really taking an active role in uh, being more involved in church. I saw that initially at the beginning that this was an evangelistic tool to be able to reach communities uh, and be able to reach families which is near and dear to my heart. The law allows us to do it so why not do it? <laughs> if we can have the pure gospel preached to kids in these schools, it will shift society and change not only the world, but the lives and the eternity of all these children. A lot of times, society tells children um, who they are and discover who they are and what they're going to do in their life. But whose you are is the bigger question. And when kids know that they represent the loving creator of the entire universe, that sets the stage for the rest of their life. I personally have been shocked at the number of families that are coming to LifeWise that don't go to church. I guess naively I assumed out of the gate for a brand new program, it would be the church families that would kind of rush to the door. But I think people are genuinely hungry for something more than the world has to offer. And doing it uniquely as a release time program absolutely allows us to engage with kids who we would never be able to have a conversation with about truth, about Jesus, about the gospel, about who they are. We wouldn't be able to discuss these things with them if not for doing it right in the middle of the school day. Um, we had a little guy not that long ago who said, 
he wasn't even sure he should be there. He didn't believe in God. And it is shocking for them to realize and to be taught that they are loved by a holy and perfect God, that they were created um, for a purpose. And as much as you think that might be an unwelcome message, they eat it up because it's true. Well, my son in particular absolutely loves LifeWise even better than recess, even better than gym class. Um, he just loves it so much. He cannot wait to go back. So my husband and I went to dinner with a couple that we've been friends with for a little while. We've actually never had a religious conversation with them before. And since then, their son has now started the LifeWise program. And um, my girlfriend just said, it's been amazing that he'll come home. And at night, they've been reading the Bible together as a family. And they actually attended church for the very first time recently. asking you to be a part and join us in this mission to reach the next generation of young people. What they're learning in LifeWise is the foundation of what is going to bring them up to be humans that we want in this world. I have seen my own children testify to the fact that they've seen their classmates changed. Kids need to be affirmed, they need sports, but more than anything, they need to hear the gospel this is kingdom work, and we're making a kingdom investment together to see a generation of young people that are praising God and are committed to walking with integrity, with character, and being all that God created them to be. Help us do that. This is our future. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Bringing a LifeWise to your area begins with just 50 signatures, and you can share this video with the share button below and begin building your list today. And you know what? I just scrolled through your phone, and you have more than 50 contacts that begin with the letter A. This should be easy for you.